Well, with more than 70, for 70 performances a year, chances are you've probably been to the Old Town Theater in Worthington, South Dakota. The historical place is known for its entertainment and delicious meals, and also for an event that promises a frighteningly good time. But if you haven't attended yet, our next guest has plenty of reasons why you should. Here to, some of the, uh, to share some of the exciting activities you can take advantage of is Old Town Theater Executive Director Casey Ring. Casey, good to have you today. Yeah, thank you for having me. So 36 years Old Town Theater has been around. Uh, boy, for those that may not have know anything about it, never been there, kind of give us a history. How did this thing get started? Yeah, uh, it started out as a small town community theater. Um, at that time, they were actually operating out of uh, a large room in a furniture store uh, in Worthing, South Dakota. Um, I mean, a very small operation, didn't have room even to, uh, you know, host the meals and in a kitchen or anything, had to use the Legion next door uh, to wash dishes. So uh, from that, it just kind of grew and built, and we just garnered a really good following. Why Worthing? Do you know why, why it was Worthing? I couldn't tell you why they chose Worthing, but I, my guess is, if I had to take an educated guess, it would be that that's where people were from yeah. and they wanted to start it there. Yeah, because it was, I mean, I remember when, well, wait, I moved, first moved here a long time ago and we started going and it was like, you know, you went to Worthing and you like, there's nothing in Worthing. Why <laughs> would you go there? But it's put Worthing on the map. Absolutely. So let's talk about why do you think it's sustained? Why has it been able to last 36 years? Yeah, uh, well, I'd like to claim credit for it yeah. myself. Uh, however, I really think that it comes down to uh, we have very dedicated patrons that are just amazing, uh, many of whom have been coming since the first year. Uh, we have a couple who actually work in our kitchen as well as come to the theater, um, and they actually went there for their first date in high school and have been coming ever since. So. That's funny. Yeah. When you open that long, you're going to get stories like that. Exactly. So how do you think you stay uh, relevant? Yeah, um, I think that, one, uh, we offer good family-friendly entertainment, which can be hard to find sometimes. Uh, we also like to bring some new things, things that you might not have experienced or seen yet in the South Dakota area. And I think that, that helps us to stay relevant and, and at that front while still maintaining our base. So you're, you, you talked about at the beginning 70-some performances that, that you do every year. And then that's crazy. I mean, how do you do that? So uh, we run for five weekends a show, uh, four shows a year. So um, about 17 to 18 performances per okay. show. Uh, it, it adds up. Wow. <laughs> so. But it's only four performances. Yeah. Uh, well, four different shows. Four different say. shows. Yeah. Yep. We do a, a fall, a Christmas, a winter, okay. and a, uh, a spring show. So what do you got coming up this year? Uh, so we just finished out our fall show, Going Bear. Um, next, we're going to do a, a very popular comedy called Blythe Spirit. Um, that's our Christmas show. For our winter show, we're going to be doing a new comedy called 37 Postcards. Okay. And then to kind of throw in just a little bit of uh, change up and something interesting, uh, we're going to be do doing Dial M for Murder for oh, our spring fine. show. Uh, good murder mystery. So do you have struggles finding performers, uh, backstage help, things like that? Um, usually not. Uh, as like We have very dedicated people for our patrons. We also have very dedicated actors, people who have really found a home at Old Town. And um, it's, it's pretty common to see familiar faces there um, they just get excited about coming down is it so. the same is it the same group of people all the time or we it mix it up but it's it's very common for people to uh, to come back they want to return yeah. so how do you pick the shows how do you know what I mean do you get um, help me define you know I mean is it just straight like uh, an on golden pond isn't a musical it's just straight drama I mean how do you, do you do you do musicals? Do you mix it up? We do. Uh, we try to do a musical about every other year, just because they can be really big productions. Um, but we know they're very exciting too, and a lot of fun to do. Yeah. Um, so we actually just finished out a musical at the end of last season. Um, we'll be aiming for one next year as well. I mean, really, what it comes down to is there's a group of us who sit down with a hundred scripts, and we start going through, okay. and we pick out the the gems. Um, as I said before, we like to find ones that we know are going to be favorites. We like to throw in something that's going to be new and maybe stretch it a little yeah. bit. So. so one of the other th cool things that you're doing with the facility is having a haunted house. Yeah. So tell us about that. How long have you been doing that? Yeah, so this is our third year doing our haunted house. Uh, we're very excited about it. It's uh, a good fundraiser for us and also a good way for us to give back to the community. Um, so we're going to be running that for two weekends uh, coming up here the 19th, 20th, 26th, and 27th. Um, it's a fun walk through haunted house. It's all done by volunteers and myself and yeah, yeah. Uh, my AD, and uh, we just have a lot of fun with it. So, so is it, uh, I mean, is the whole facility transformed into the haunted house? Oh, yes. Uh, so from the moment you walk in, I mean, the lobby is still there to, to check in and get your sure. tickets and things, but it's decorated and yeah. it's spooky. And 
Uh, I love coming to work in the morning <laughs> and walking into that. Um, but then, yeah, the moment you enter into the theater area, we have uh, a maze set up with, yeah. with frights and chills. So, so is the uh, is it haunted? The, it would, would the old place be haunted at all? It depends on who you talk to. Yeah, so there uh, might there are a few <laughs> stories floating around. There are, there are definitely stories floating around. Uh, last I heard, the the theater ghost had received the uh, name of Howard. Oh. So every once in a while, we'll talk. You'll hear some of us talk about Howard, Howard. and what the tricks he's pulling <laughs> today. So, so what, one of the other things with your facility too is that now you you want to kind of grow a little bit and, and to stay relevant. You want to do some new things as you look forward to the next 36 years. So Absolutely. what are some of the things on your agenda? Yeah, I think one of uh, the things that we really want to do is we want to start looking for other special events we can do. Um, so the Haunted House is, is one of those. We're also looking at possibly um, finding ways to do like movie showings uh, in the theater there. It's a, a fun way to get people together. Um, different uh, uh, events um, such as like a charity gala or mm -hmm. things like that. But past that, we also, I think step two is opening it up as more of a venue space um, in the area. I mean, it's a beautiful historic theater, and I think we'd like to give people the opportunity to take advantage of that. Yeah, so there's catering available and all the things. If somebody wanted to rent it out, they could call you. And Absolutely. We could yeah. definitely work something out with that. So Yeah, yeah so, um, so moving forward, a lot of fun on the agenda this year. The yeah. Haunted House coming up this weekend and next weekend, right? The next two weekends? Yep, that's correct. A lot of fun. So... Chris, uh, Casey, thanks for being in here today, sharing all the stuff, and good luck with your with your season. So, Absolutely, yeah, thank you for having me. Have you on again soon.